In this video we're going to take a look at two particular guitars that I own. Um, they're both signature Tom DeLongs. Um, the first one that I'm showing you here is his original signature Fender Stratocaster, um, which they don't make anymore, but when they did it was a very, very popular guitar. Um, as you can see, this one is graffiti yellow. Um, I think it was one of the less popular designs or colours at the time, but it's the only one I got hold of mine quite late, and this was the only colour available left. Um, Seafoam green is the one you most commonly see, and I think I'd imagine that's probably the most popular. But unfortunately, I couldn't get it. But over time, um, I've come to like this one just as much, and now they don't do it anymore. It's quite nice in a way having a guitar of a colour that's, that's slightly less popular than the others. Um, I'll give you a close up look of both this guitar and his signature Gibson um, and see what you think. Okay, starting from the bottom up, um, it's obviously a standard Stratocaster shaped body. We've got the pretty basic bridge and jack. There's only one control, and that's volume. Uh, the pickup is a Seymour Duncan SH8 Invader humbucker pickup. It's got the perloid scratch plate. Uh, we've got the rosewood fretboard. It's pretty basic dot inlays. Uh, the the head itself is, um, I think they call it the 1970 style oversized head. Um, spin it around. Again, pretty basic. Um, I think they're called vintage tune as they call them. It's a serial number. And it was made in the Mexico factory. Uh, the neck itself. Um, is solid maple and as I said with a rosewood fingerboard. That's the back plate there. So the advertising what it is, Tom DeLong model. I've kept it in pretty good condition, there's no um nicks or bumps or anything like that. It cleans up very well. I don't know if the shine comes through on video but it's very nice. Spin it back round. A bit of a closer look at the head. I think as stock it comes with Ernie Ball skinny top heavy bottoms. Actually no stock is probably Fender strings but Tom Tom's guitars of um Tom's strings of choice at the time were Ernie Ball 1052 skinny top heavy bottoms I think that's just generally advertised um and that's what I've got fitted on here at the moment so there you go that is the Tom DeLong signature Stratocaster in graffiti yellow Okay, so this is the Gibson um, signature Tom DeLong as it comes in its case. So I thought I'd show you that first of all. Pretty basic case. The Gibson logo, which I think they put in gold to show it's um, the custom shop or the signature series, whatever, whatever you want to refer it to. Some brass catches. Padded handle. I'll just open it up for you. Okay, so this is with the, the case open. It's got the fake fur effect interior. It's got this sort of silky covering that just goes over the guitar itself. 
Um, and here's the guitar in the case. I'll give you another close up look at the moment. But just as you can see it itself in the case, that's what it looks like. Put pan down. Okay, so here it is um, out of the case and on the stand itself. You've got the racing stripe there, which goes all the way up the main body. You've got the Gibson Guarantee um, paperwork and serial number in there. You've got the Tudomatic bridge. Uh, the jack on this one is right down the bottom. Standard size jack. As on the fender, you've just got the single control knob, which is cream, I guess, colour you'd call it. Again, only one pickup, same as this fender. It's the Gibson Dirty Fingers. Um, Humbucker pickup again. Got another little plate there. It's a rosewood fingerboard again with dot perloid inlays. There's the headstock. This one is the um, full Gibson model. They do do it in an Epiphone now, but at the time they didn't, so I had to fork out the full amount and get the Gibson. Got nickel spares or tuners. I'll just flip it around and show you the back. They're locking tuners, which are nice and easy to change the strings. That's Tom DeLong's signature, which they've got. Doesn't show up very well there, but it's got like um, embossed serial number at the very top of the headstock, just in there. We've got a mahogany neck on this one. All the way down. The brown, sort of chocolatey coloured paintwork um, is matte effect, or satin at the very least. There's the plate there, gives you access to all the electronics if you need to do any mods or repairs or anything like that. Let's go another closer zoom in everything at this end. Tuners again. Here on this side. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, they're both signature models. One a lot more expensive than the other. The Gibson is massively more expensive. This one still is available. Um, I think in the UK it's just over 1,600 now. It's held its price pretty well. Um, in later videos I'll show you how they play. But for the time being, this is a very quick guided tour of both guitars um, I hope it comes through quite well on camera they're both really really good guitars just for you to know the Fender itself I didn't show you the case that it comes with it only comes with a very very basic like nylon gig bag I suppose you call it more than anything else it's not very exciting but it does the job um, so there you go two excellent guitars